What you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. A genius on YouTube named Lil Doggy, L-I-L, has made a video uh, expressing amazing discoveries about human-caused climate change and coral bleaching and other things. I have only looked at the first 20 seconds or so of the video, so we will enjoy it together. Normally, I would just ignore this person, but in the comment section of his video, he called me a liberal. How dare he? So, to address this terrible, terrible insult, I am making this video and we shall enjoy it together for the first time. What is up? My friends, it's a beautiful stormy morning in Arkansas. I'm sorry, you just used the words beautiful and Arkansas in the same sentence. Either it's one or the other, it's not both. It's supposed to be 80 degrees in February. Historically, okay, but two years ago in February, here uh, next week in February, two years ago, I got snowed in in a little town called Clarksville, Arkansas, trying to get up to Eureka Springs. It snowed in Clarksville, Arkansas, no monkeys around, in winter. Damn that Obama! What the fuck? For my birthday. So that'll tell you, it's hot. But I'll tell you what, this, this brings me to global warming and where all these people think the president doesn't believe in climate change. Well, yes. We believe in climate change. I believe the same thing as that man does. By the president, I assume he means Donald Trump. Donald Trump says the exact opposite of what he believes regarding human-caused climate change. When Donald Trump wanted to build seawalls to protect his coastal golf courses, he cited human-caused sea level rise due to human-caused warming of planet Earth. In writing... Several times. Donald Trump accepts the fact that humans have caused and are causing climate change and human-caused sea level rise and global warming. Just not in public. It's weather. It's not... Yes, what you cited is weather. Global warming. It's just weather. Proof? Proof? No, thank you. Nobody doubts weather happens. On this day in 1937 in Arkansas, the record high temperature, 79 degrees. The statewide average temperature for Arkansas has not changed anomalously, unlike the rest of the United States as a whole. Note that Alabama has been cooling anomalously due to human-caused climate change. Globally, human-caused climate change has caused Earth to warm anomalously and sharply. By the way, Arkansas has been getting wetter due to global warming even as the average temperature for the state has remained almost the same. This is why all of the world's geophysicists call the crisis global warming and not Arkansas warming. We're expected to break it today, but in 1937 it was 79 degrees in Arkansas. No, it was 60 degrees. We had global warming in 1937 and it went away. Check your farmer's almanac. Farmer's Almanac does not cover the entire planet. See that tiny red dot on this map here? That is the state you are talking about. Arkansas is not the entire planet. Global warming, not Arkansas warming. Warming and cooling, warming and cooling. More carbon dioxide, less carbon dioxide. It's less carbon dioxide, okay. Is there less carbon dioxide in Arkansas than the rest of the planet? By any significant amount, I would really like to know. Is there like a fucking dome over Arkansas to keep the people in and it just happens to be also keeping carbon dioxide out? Just the way the earth works. Now, you want to blame the shit that's happening in the ocean? The bleaching of the coral reefs and shit like that? Look at Fukushima. Look at Japan with all the nuclear meltdowns they've had and where all that nuclear radiation is just sweeping in the ocean and it's just being carried by covalent currents? No. 
The world's coral is not radioactive. Chemistry of coral. A fine paper on the subject in this video's description. There's two reasons why the world's coral are being bleached. Number one. Sea temperature has been increasing. Number two. Carbon dioxide is being anomalously taken up in the world's oceans. This causes the world's oceans pH to decrease, which is causing the world's oceans to be less base and therefore more acidic. It is not radiation. So that's, uh, the currents of the ocean that's bringing the makes everything on the earth work and live yes by the way it is slowing down due to human caused global warming this is a major problem it's just spreading all over the planet swirling it around so yes the environment is being affected and things are being killed but it's not by global warming and there's not much we can do about it Actually, yes, it is global warming that is human-caused climate change that is currently causing the sixth largest mass extinction event on the planet throughout Earth's history, and there is something we can do about it. We can stop putting carbon dioxide in Earth's atmosphere. It's fucking radiation from Japan. No, it is not fucking radiation from Japan. And before you ask, it's not Godzilla or Mothra either. By the way, it's a sphere, not flat. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. 